In this video, we're gonna. Hey, in this video. In this video, we're gonna. Video? In this video, we're gonna talk about the three most common mistakes that most retirees make within their first year. Let's get right to it. The first and most common mistake is only planning financially. You've got your 401k and your IRA in place. You've even calculated when to start collecting Social Security. You're all ready, right? Only focusing on the bucks you need to retire is the number one trap many retirees fall into. And it's not all your fault. The market is designed for this. The financial industry has pitched retirement as a season of wanton consumption. As many rounds of golf as you like, as many yoga classes as you can take, don't forget those cruises. Sure, retirement is supposed to be a season of relaxation and enjoyment. But enjoyment of what? That's the question. How can you enjoy it if some of the other elements of your life are not cared for as well as the financial element? Take health as a primary example. The truth is that you're about to experience four very real transitions as you come into your retirement years. There's the financial transition, of course, but there's also a physical, social, and spiritual transition coming your way. Have you planned for those? If you haven't, I've got another video that'll help you right here. <sighs> the second most common mistake that many retirees fall into is not planning for the social changes to their life. Work provides us with a built-in social circle that we often take for granted until it's gone. Our colleagues and coworkers often become a vital part of our connection to humanity, to life, to the world around us. When that's gone, it's common to find our world much smaller, a bit quieter, a little less interactive. Don't fall for this trap. Realize that unless you're going to start an encore career, your social life will probably shrink a bit. So plan for it by developing some social circles outside of family who can stimulate you intellectually. You don't want all of your future conversations to be about that last TV series you just binged. The third most common mistake that many retirees fall into is what I call the no schedule is bliss trap. Now, I'm right there with you on this one. To me, schedules are work. My definition of a vacation, for example, is just the absence of a schedule. That's all I need. As soon as it's announced that we have to be at, say, the Eiffel Tower by 12 o'clock noon, I'm out of there. But you're gonna have a lot of time on your hands. Time you would have spent on the job. What are you gonna do with it? And I know that retirement is all about relaxing, but how many mornings can you sleep in? This trap also creates a breeding ground for the to-do list takeover. Did you ever notice that work tends to expand to fill the time allotted? Have a three-page memo you have to write in 60 minutes? Done. Have three hours open on your schedule and that same memo to write? I think you know what I mean. I've heard it from just about every retiree. Paul, I'm amazed at how long it takes just to get the daily chores done. Where did the day go? What are you gonna do with all that extra time? This is really important. Many take up a passion project of some type, some even launching what's called an encore career. If you're interested in that kind of idea, I've got a short playlist of videos on that subject right here. So be intentional about your lack of schedule and your newfound time. Make sure you think through that one. So that's my top three mistakes that I find many retirees make. But obviously that's not a conclusive list. What are some of the mistakes that you found have sort of trapped you in your retirement? Share those with us in the comments below. We can all learn from you. Now, if you're interested in pursuing what I've called an encore career, I've mentioned that earlier in the video, I've got a couple free resources for you. 
The first is a white paper that I call the Retirement Report. It's my redux of the latest data and trends on what people are doing in and with their retirement years. I think you'll find the results of that analysis kind of interesting. The link for that resource is in the show notes below. Just click on that show more button just below this video. Now, if you're already thinking of pursuing an encore career, that's the career after your career, very often a passion project or maybe a consultancy of some type, but you're not sure how to go about doing that. I have what I call the encore career roadmap. It's a seven step process that'll step you through building your own encore career. The link for that resource as well is in the show notes below. Feel free to avail yourself of both of those. Now in closing, I want to share with you a couple other videos. I've got a short series of videos, three videos as a matter of fact, called Encore Career 101. If you have no idea what an Encore Career is, check out that playlist right here. In addition, if you're thinking of pursuing an Encore Career but not sure what form it will take, what actually the subject matter will be, you're looking for meaning will work, check out my video entitled Finding Meaningful Work. It's helped a lot of people. I'm Paul Pichot with Whole Worker. Thanks for watching.